Hi there, welcome back. Now today I've got great all-round comedy entertainer Steve Barclay in the studio with me and we've just seen him doing a bit of old-time musical, uh, a fabulous suit. I, I really, do you know what I loved about that suit? Can we just get that still of it up again, Dan? I don't know if we can. Yeah, here we go. We're, we're, there you go, the suit, the wonderful oh, suit. Uh, now, I used to have, when I was about six or seven, a lovely coat that was made of that material yeah. for Easter Sunday. A lot of people of a certain age will remember you used to get when you, you used yeah. to have your, your Easter Sunday, your new outfit with your, with, you know, if you had a hat, I didn't. But I had exactly that material, a beautiful coat my mum bought me. Fantastic. Funny, isn't it? The, the, Easter the Sunday, we got our clothes and we walked. We yeah. went with the church to walk. Yeah. I, I, some, I, I vaguely remember. Yeah. But if you got, with your, with your nice clothes, you went, we went round to people's houses. Yeah. And showed them our clothes and they gave us sixpence. Or Isn't whatever. that funny? Oh! Yeah. Now I don't quite remember that bit, but I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine that it's uh, that that it's true. What did you do? Did did you go straight into being an entertainer, or did you do other work first? I, I, yeah, I did other work. <coughs> yeah, um, I worked in a factory. Yeah. Once I served an apprenticeship. Right. What else? As an electrician. Oh right. But I worked in this factory, and I hated it. Yeah. And they used, I used to work, and I had a little screwdriver. Yeah. Like that. And then the bell would go. And as the bell went, I dropped the screwdriver and walked off. That right. was it. Like, that I was, was that interested in it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, what, what about, do you have any memories of school days that sort of you, you drew on those memories to help you with your act later yes, on? Yes, I do, yeah. Um, I remember um, when I was about 14, I was um, in the class and was having English by a man called Peter Stansfield, yeah. uh, who I later became friends with. He was my te teacher. And he was a bit eccentric, old Peter. Yeah. And he was reading a book called The Long, The Short and The Tall. Yeah. And um, he sat, and we, we, we were supposed to be quiet, we are writing or some, something. And uh, he, he starts to read this book, and he starts laughing. But it, mm. he started, <laughs> <laughs> and it went on, so the class is in uproar. <laughs> so later on in my life, yeah. again, I went to do a summer season yeah. in Whitby. Yeah. And in those days, the comics had to bring, they had to bring their, old ske their own sketches. They were expected to bring the sketch. What is the sketch? A sketch, a sketch that, that they would do to fill time in that everybody could be involved in. Right. There, there used to be sketch comics. I, you see, I've never heard that right. expression. And Don Reed actually gave me a sketch. Yeah. I was scrounged because I'd never, I'd never seen these sketches. So as well as doing your patter as a stand-up on your own, you've got to have a bit in it that you, you bring the audience onto the stage or something. No, no, no. In the old days, they would, they would put, they would put uh, comic opens six minutes, warm up. And then yeah. they would have girl singer yeah. act, da 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 da, da and it go through, and then they'd say sketch right and the comic who was the top of the bill always yeah. yeah had to provide the sketch and they'd have things like that they traveled um like certain comics might do the photographer's sketch oh uh, i get sketches. you right but i didn't have any sketches right because i'd not seen them I'd, it's a bit I'd like a monologue worked. a bit like a, a, bit of like a little play thing. yeah a little play thing. as a play yeah. yeah so um one of the sketches <laughs> yeah. the, the, the sketch that Don Reed gave me was called Rich Man, Poor Man. Right. And it, it consisted of a deck chair and a newspaper. And it was there was a rich guy supposed to be on a beach. Yeah. And he said, Daphne, get me my newspaper, lovey. And, sh and this newspaper came through. Yeah. And he read The Times. Yeah. And then the comic, which was the other side of the stage, he said... Beryl, fetch me my newspaper. Yeah. And she brought him the sun or the dandy or something like that, yeah. visual. So this was going, this is the rich man, poor man. Various things, various things happen that are a direct contrast yes. to the rich man, rich man, yes. poor man, all the way through yeah. it. So the comic made that funny. I put music to it. Yeah. So it was going, die, da, die, di, 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 di. Yeah. And it was, the umbrella, the rich man had a big, lovely umbrella. And were the two people on stage? Two people right. at the time. 
Oh. And then I got my umbrella out, and it's full of holes. And yeah. You can see. Yeah. And then, but the tag of it is that um, the um, the rich man says, Daphne, come along, darling. And this this guy, this I'm, I've got this wrong. The rich man, yeah. the rich man says, Daphne, come along, love. And he's got a and there's a guy in drag. Oh, right. On his arm. <laughs> and I say, come along, Beryl. And it's one of the dancers. Oh, so right. I get it's you. like that so in the postcardy thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get the gorgeous woman. But I ain't got enough of these sketches. Yeah. So I thought about this Peter Stansfield laughing with the book. So it was all a bit wing and a prayer. Yeah. And they said, what, what are you going to do for your sketch? Here, we need a sketch. They were a bit flustered, you mm. see. So I says, well, I'll do the book sketch. Yeah. You see? <laughs> and I brought a chair on yeah. and I read a book and I went, and I, and I opened the book and I thought, I hope they laugh. Yeah. And I went, <laughs> and I just did exactly what I'd seen yeah, him do. Yeah, yeah. Big hoot. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to do that for five minutes? I did that for about three, three minutes. Oh, yeah. you yeah. brave man. Yeah, but I made it up as yeah. I went along. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are brilliant. And that's good. I like that. It, well, it's improvising, isn't it? We're going to see you now. You're the man who brought um, Pam Ayres to uh, Old Time Music Hall, aren't that's you? Right, cause I had yeah? to do, yeah. Yeah, you have to. So here we have a look now. Here's Steve Barclay. I don't know whether you're going to be as Pam Ayres. It's just a, a little prop that I A use. little prop. Here yeah. we go. I lost to a singing dog. <laughs> Clap on me to booed me. <laughs> the, but I used to like it when he used to say, Friends, a big warm welcome for Miss Pam Ayres. Pam Ayres. <laughs> I made my own props. <laughs> <laughs> and who's working you, Mrs? <laughs> this might be a night out due to us. It's a performance, isn't it? And now a little poem entitled... She sits... I said sits. She sits amongst the cabbages and peas. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm Squire Trelawney's daughter. It's nothing like Benny Hill. I heard you there, Mrs. Because <laughs> in trouble. I'm Squire Trelawney's daughter. I am a lovely thing. And I am getting married to the farmer in the spring. He'll be up in the morning. Do you know, I love that. I love the simplicity of that prop, that wig. Just oh, tell yeah. me. Did you, did you think of that? I did, yeah. It's absolutely yeah. super. I would find your act very, very funny. I love some, funny, and yeah. and you do a really well, well constructed and received after dinner speech called "Nothing Like a Dame," don't you? I do, yeah. 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 W w what sort of places have you performed that? I do that in Rotary clubs, mm, yeah. ladies' institutes, yeah. anywhere where right. they want it. And what about being a dame? Do you find how how many years now have you been sort of contracted to be a dame? Must be twenty years. Easy. So you yeah. know every Christmas you're getting a panto? Normally, yeah. 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 Uh, is there any dame that you haven't played yet? Yes. Go on. Mother Goose. Right. Because you have to be beautiful at the end. Oh! They normally, it's true. Really? They, they normally, the best Mother Gooses are tall ones. Yeah. Some of you tall. So like a Danny of... LaRue would have been a exactly. Mother Goose. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. He would be ideal, yeah. Yeah. If they'd allow him to be ugly in the beginning. <laughs> but they would never allow him to be ugly. He wouldn't, in the... have, that. He no. wouldn't have that. No. No, he was very, very into looking beautiful. Glamorous. Glamorous, yeah, yeah. 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 Who, who, who do you think uh, has been is, is the best dame that sticks in your mind? The best dame for, for me, one of the best dames. Yeah. Les Dawson. Really? Les Dawson. Yeah. 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 And have you ever met Les? I've worked with him on television, yeah. What did you do? I did uh, Junior Showtime. Yeah. He was in it. And we did this scene, we did this uh, theme on that occasion where it was a circus and he was the ringmaster. Yeah. And uh, at the end, 
we, we had to do a finale bit yeah. where we danced. Yeah. Uh, there's a few steps, mm. and it was um, oh, Billy Pierce's mum, Jean Pierce, yeah. who did the choreography. Yeah. And uh, she said, oh, she says, he can't do the steps. Yeah. Look at me, you see. Yeah. Get him a cloak. Go up. She says, he can't do, do the steps. We'll have to lose him. Yeah. You know, I could lose him from it. And Les Dawson says, no. He says, get him a cloak. You'll be all right. To hide my feet. Oh, right. So you got that. He stuck up for me, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. You've really worked with the greats. What was Daddy LaRue really like? Phenomenal. I spent a long time with, with him. Yeah. We went around the country and uh, he was, he, w he could make a show out of no nothing. Yeah. We went to, um, went to the Gaiety Theatre Air once and we've yeah. got dancers, other acts, all kinds of variety acts and we're doing a, Tra a travelling summer season yeah. tour for the summer, ending yeah. up in Bournemouth. And we waited, we waited, no Danny, no Danny. And he's oh. directing it. Yeah. We waited, we were going on that that very night. Yeah. And we waited and we waited. Four o'clock he arrives. Yeah. He says, uh, right, he says, you do this, you do that, you do the other. Da -da, bang, bang, bosh, on. Perfect. And did everyone know what they were doing? It was Everybody, yeah. yeah. He thought about it. He just, yeah. yeah. And what sort of show was it? Just a variety show? It was a variety it? show, yeah. but he had, a, he had a brain. He had a brain like, like Thatcher. Like a computer. Uh, yes. Yeah. One day, I remember, we yeah. were coming from yeah. a, um, a theatre in Hanley, yeah. which I can tell you about another time. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This has been really interesting speaking to you. I think I'd love to hear you doing an after dinner speech. Steve Barkley, comedy entertainer, thank you very much indeed. That was super.